Hey guys, this is your digital anchor chart for 6EE9, which is our last expressions and equation standard that says you can use variables to represent two quantities in a real world problem that change in relationship to one another. Your learning target says I can use variables to represent two quantities in a real world problem that change in relation to one another. So basically the same thing. Uh, what you have here is a graph um, with two quantities on it and a situation that we're going to um, solve for and plot onto our graph. It says a car travels at 60 miles per hour. Write an equation for total distance at a certain distance D at a certain number of hours, which we're going to let be H um, in our equation. So um, basically we're traveling at 60 miles per hour. So we're going to have 60 times however many hours we're traveling is going to give us D, which is our distance. So in our, um, and I actually put on our tables X and Y, but that's because we're going to plot the hours on the X axis and the distance on the Y axis. Now, the purpose of this standard is to understand the relationship between, between these two quantities. So one of these quantities, the dependent variable is dependent upon the other one, which we call the independent variable. In the case of this situation, our hours, this is going to be our um, independent variable. And the, the, mi the miles that we travel is our dependent variable because the miles that we travel depend on how many hours we're driving. We're traveling 60 miles per hour. So if we travel for two hours, then we're going to be at 120 miles. If we travel for four hours, we're going to be at 240 miles. So the distance we travel is directly impacted by how long we drive, which is our independent variable. So let me label that. Okay, so we're going to let the hours be our X coordinate. And we're going to let the distance be our Y coordinate. So if I just plot some numbers in here, say two, four, six, and eight. Okay, um, obviously at zero, and I can add that to our chart as well, at zero hours, we're going to be traveling zero distance, okay? Those are going to be equal at our point of origin. After we travel for two hours, if we use the formula that we created, uh, 60 times two is going to give us 120 um, miles. And then if we use four, Four times 60 is going to give us 240 miles. Six times 60, 360 miles. And eight times 60 is going to be 480 miles. So then once you have your, um, your points, essentially, uh, your different values for X and Y, depending upon how long you're driving, you can plot those on the coordinate grid. So at two hours, going over two, we are at 120 miles, which is going to be right about here. At four, we're going to be at 240 miles, which is going to be right about here. At six, 360. At eight, 480 which is going to be about here. So as you can see, this is a linear equation. It does create a straight line. Um, and that's pretty much it. Understand which variable is dependent upon the others. Be able to find various values for that equation and be able to plot them on a line plot. Good luck.